Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you are all doing well today. I had a nice little nap this morning. <laughs> but anyways, today I've got cloverleaf lemon and dill flaked light tuna. I'm gonna review this and then I'm gonna add some orange starburst from Jay's hot sauce. Ooh, maybe I'll put that up there. <laughs> Uh, this should be a good little snack. Yeah, I think I guess it's like a lunch But uh, before I get to this, I just want to wish a couple friends happy birthdays Sarah M in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Happy birthday to you and Melissa B in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anybody who's celebrating a birthday today. Happy unbirthday to the rest of us Let's all have a good day today so I actually don't know if I've had this flavor of the clover leaf uh, canned tunas, the lemon and dill. I've had, I don't know, a few different other ones, and I seem to like them for sure. I like tuna, I've always really liked tuna, I guess. But that's what I'm going to review today. <laughs> Here's the ingredients. Skipjack tuna, water, sunflower oil, dill, sugar, salt, modified cornstarch, lemon juice, citric acid, and flavor. I did not look that up. I just noticed that a little couple minutes ago, and I was like, I might look that up, but then I didn't. I'm definitely still sick. I can definitely still have a cold. I'm not, you might be able to tell by my voice. I don't know, but uh, I'm feeling better. Definitely better. I had a terrible sleep last night though, unfortunately. I was awake a lot of the night, but all in all, I think I'm improving. So let's open this up. I find it really weird that the label is this way on these cans, but you open it from this side. I don't know why that why that would be. I've always been a little bit baffled by that. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, it smells like tuna. It smells like lemon and dill a, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of that dill aroma. So I'm gonna try it. As is, straight out of the can first, just try a couple little... Yeah. I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like canned tuna. Let's try it out. Cloverleaf flaked light tuna, lemon and dill flavor. Eat my shorts. Yeah, I like that. It's fairly straight up, fairly self-explanatory. It's lemon flavor, it's dill flavor, it's tuna. Nice consistency on the tuna. It's not soggy or weird. It's fish-like. Oh, Maggie smells it. <laughs> um, as is, for a flavor rating, hmm. maybe a seven and a half out of ten. It's it it is what it is, and I, oh, the label's upside down now. I can't show you the label now. See, um, and I'm pretty sure, like full disclosure, full disclaimer, I'm pretty sure that my taste, my sense of taste, is a little bit less sensitive right now because I do have a cold. But it's not gone. <laughs> so, let's try it on a cracker now. Sorry Maggie, you can't have. I didn't bother bringing my podium out today. I just wasn't really feeling like it. So I'm just kind of working, there's the little island, I guess it's a peninsula. 
countertop. So I'm doing my prep off screen today. I hope you don't mind. If this was a challenge, I'd be disqualified. <laughs> so here it is on some premium plus saltine crackers just for something a little bit different. Not that, not that, not different as in I've never done it before, but a comparison, that's what I mean. I'm having trouble with my thoughts and words today, still, as usual, I suppose. Let's try this out. <laughs> hmm. I like that about these crackers. The, the salty flavor brings out the tastes flavors in the other thing. I can taste the lemon and dill more when it's on the cracker here. That's really cool. So, the tuna on the cracker, I'd give that an 8 out of 10. Bumps it up a little bit. Just brings out those flavors a little bit more. I like it. Maggie's very interested in this too now. It's pretty funny. Okay. Um, oh yeah. I'm not quite done with that previous segment of the video, I suppose. So... I would definitely restock this lemon and dill. I like it. It's even better on the cracker. I recommend it. I would restock it. I think I just said both of those things, maybe. Either way. Now, I'm gonna add some orange starburst tincture from Jay's Hot Sauce in Vancouver, BC, Canada. I'm shaky too. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just grabbing a pull and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna put on these. I kind of wish you weren't standing here for this part, Maggie. It makes me a little bit nervous when she's here in this tincture. So let's just do, I don't know, a few drops. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was two, six. I lost count now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Twenty drops in total. Ten on each one. Let's see how this goes. So now we have clover leaf lemon and dill flaked light tuna on premium plus salted top crackers and Jay's orange starburst pepper tincture. Now it's a snack. Keep my short. Where are you going? That added a serious kick to it. I guess I haven't been hitting the spice, hitting the tincture like I had had been in the past. <laughs> Hmm. Hi. Hello. Yes, I know you love tuna. I know you love tuna. And I actually don't don't see any reason why she couldn't have some lemon dill. Nothing wrong with either of those, right? Okay, so that combination was really good. It was hotter than I thought it was going to be because I forgot that I haven't been hitting the tincture. 
My tolerance is definitely down. I'm gonna go ahead and say, unfortunately, because of my lower tolerance, that t tincture actually took away from the flavor. Probably brought, just brought it back down to a 7 out of 10. Unfortunately, I didn't taste the orange starburst flavor. And it even kind of overpowered the lemon and dill flavors. And e even the tuna. I just it taste burning. <laughs> that's, that's basically all I'm tasting on those two crackers. Just spice. Just burning. Okay? <laughs> I'm sore. <laughs> but either way, I'm glad I did that. I'm sure it was a good combo. I just couldn't appreciate it because of my low tolerance and my my cold. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it was a good good combo. Um, it, even, even taking into account that it, I think it brought the flavor rating down just because of my tolerance again, not, not because of it, anything in any of those products, but. I'm sure it was good. <laughs> and I would do it again. I'll do this again for sure. And it was also a good way to get my tolerance back up again. A little bit. Little steps, right? Um, other than that... I actually just got another gift on the patio about an hour ago from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Another one of those. I think this is the last of my Christmas presents from Ed, so I'm pretty stoked to see what's in this one. Anyways, it is a beautiful day outside. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but the sun is shining, and it looks like she wants to go check it out, so I might even take her out there before I even upload this video. Yeah, because what if it clouds over while I'm editing? That ha happens way too often. Anyways, I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I just ran a marathon or something. So I think I will sign off and take this little Wookiee outside. Oh, I said the word, the O word. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I know my energy level and my enthusiasm and effort maybe even aren't up to my regular standards, what I usually try to do, but I'm just just tired and wanting to make an appearance. I just wanted to hang out. That's what this comes down to. And wish my friends happy birthdays. I don't like taking a day off because I don't like missing those birthday shoutouts. I enjoy them. So anyways, in this corner you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Jay's Hot Sauce on Facebook. Hop over there, give him a follow, contact him about his products. And up here, some playlists or something, some content for you to click and enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I love you all. We'll hang out again sometime soon, I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.